the James Webb telescope, all the different stuff that they've been finding about these galaxies. What is your take on all this? Yeah, the, the James Webb Space, Space Telescope is such an incredible instrument. The data has just blown us away. It started finding a couple of things. It started finding quasars, which is kind of the, the center of these very active gal galaxies. These are supermassive black holes that have loads of crap falling in, and they're spewing out all this energy. They're kind of feeding supermassive black holes. And so we started detecting those way earlier than we thought the universe should be able to build them. Because to make a supermassive black hole, I mean, these things are like a hundred million solar masses. Imagine that, a hundred million suns have, have not only been born, but died, gone through their entire life cycle, died, collapsed into a black hole, and then those black holes have presumably somehow merged together into this super behemoth of this hundred million solar mass thing. So we're finding those just, you know, 300 million years after the Big Bang. And that, that was like... Hold on, that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how, how can this be? And similarly with the, uh, with the galaxies, we were seeing these images. These galaxies, and you can date roughly how old they should be based off the redshift. So, the, you know, the universe is expanding. So therefore, if something is very far away from us and the universe is expanding, it's like gets stretched more and more and more as it journeys over space. So we look at these images. Again, they seem suspiciously too, too old. You know, you really shouldn't be able to perform these things that, that early on in the universe.